Night isn't over yet. As Sam just mentioned, Chris Wolf has been at Elton John's Oscar celebration all day. And he's still out there tonight. So let's get to West Hollywood and check in with Chris and see what stars he's been chatting with. Hey, Wolfie. Oh, lots. Hello, you guys. What an evening. Let me tell you, though, some of these gowns and outfits are so revealing. We cannot show you on mainstream television. We have seen pasties, pop outs, barely there, bejeweled mesh outfits showing everything underneath. And that's just the men. Kidding, kidding. Now, on a serious note, we did see a young woman out here a short time ago in a very long gown with several long sashes that read, bring them home for the Israeli hostages. Well, the Elton John Oscars after party is well underway here in West Hollywood, one of the hottest tickets in town. This is the time to celebrate the winners, raise money for the Elton John AIDS Foundation, and enjoy live music and DJs. Recently arrived, Avril Lavigne, Danny DeVito, Paula Abdul. We have seen model Heidi Klum, actress Elizabeth Hurley, and actress Jane Seymour, comedian Tim Allen, music legend Smokey Robinson, just to name a few, they are all out here. Now, a short time ago, I had a chance to speak with actor David Krumholz, who plays a physicist in Oppenheimer, the big winner tonight that swept the Oscars. Let's take a listen. It's a story about humanity, but but there's something inhuman about what happened. And um, it's a story about human beings playing God and how we probably shouldn't do that. And to be here with such an important film that meant so much to so many people that was so widely seen and now widely awarded, it's just, uh, it's just mind blowing. It's a pinch myself moment. The nerd, the, the 13 year old kid in me is freaking out. Well, one of my favorite shows is Ted Lasso, the professional soccer dramedy, and one of the highlights of the evening for me was a chance to speak with actor Cristo Fernandez, who plays the ever-smiling Danny Rojas on that show. Take a listen. I love that moment when Ryan Gosling sang uh, 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 Ken, his song. That was, that was epic. He wanted to get up there and dance with him. Oh my God, that was epic, so funny, so good. What are you looking forward to tonight at this uh, Elton John party? If I meet Elton John, that's my that's my year there. <laughs> the night is just beginning. So much fun out here, and we'll be back later on. For now, reporting live in West Hollywood at the Elton John Oscars party, I'm Chris Wolf. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Wolfie, thank you so much. And the Elton John party isn't the only celebration happening right now. The Vanity Fair Oscar party is also underway. And our own Jeremy Parsons has been there all night. Jeremy, who, who have you been talking to? I've been there all day. I've been here all night. And I'll tell you, it's heating up here. As you look around at the 30th Vanity Fair Oscars party, it's a special celebration this year. 30 years, it's cemented really as part of Oscars weekend. Uh, we've had stars showing up all day to watch the Oscars, and now some of those awards winners are going to be making their way through. If you want to take a look down the carpet, we saw Eva Longoria a little earlier. We've seen uh, plenty of stars coming through. Nicolas Cage, Catherine O'Hara, Jeff Bezos, uh, uh, former speaker Nancy Pelosi and her husband made their way in a little earlier as well. Kim Kardashian guys she she uh, came down the carpet earlier I am not ashamed to say we made eye contact a couple times I melted it's just true I get it it's fine Sydney Sweeney uh, made her way down a little earlier uh, was chatting with Camila Cabello as well um, Sydney's co-star uh, Glenn Powell really having quite a run in that movie with her anyone but you also of course Top Gun Maverick I talked to Glenn a little bit earlier when he arrived uh, talking about being in that Oscars room versus showing up at this party and why this party tonight is really the place to be. Take a look. To be there with a movie, I, I would be back in there in a heartbeat, but I don't think, I think this is going to be a way more fun scenario yeah. Than, yeah. than... Just relax, have a few yeah, drinks. Yeah, yeah. Are you more the wallflower or do you get out there and start the dance circle? I don't know what your go-to... Anybody is. that knows me knows that, you know, at the Oscars or a wedding, I'm the first guy on the dance floor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, rumors, rumor has it, yeah. you and Sidney Sweeney may be working on a sequel. You tell me. To we're, anyone but we're, you. we're trying to figure it out. Yeah. We're trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's uh, look, I'd, I'd get back in you know the trenches with Sydney in a heartbeat. So we're yeah, we're we're trying to figure it out. I I I, I mean, I think it's likely. Yeah, he's got a little confidence there. I'm 
I'm betting on it. Him and Sidney Sweeney back together again. The fans want it. They're going to give the people what they want. Now, we also talked to Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, of course, one of the greats. He made his way down this carpet and was just working the whole crowd and the press the entire time. Jeff Goldblum, a thousand years ago, I was at an event with him. He gave me a little spin, a little dip. I know the man's got moves. I talked to him about that. He was joined by his beautiful wife here. He gave me a little dose of what we can expect from him in the party tonight. I like to party on the disco floor. <laughs> hey, hey, you're a seasoned vet. What goes on in that party for those of us that'll never be in there? Cover your ears. Ooh. This is not for human consumption. You can't even imagine. <laughs> Everything that you can imagine. What happens in the Vanity Fair party stays in the Vanity Whatever Fair Whatever you can imagine, double it. <laughs> double it. <laughs> Who are you rooting for tonight? I'm rooting for the human species, Homo sapiens. I think we've finally reached our apex, or our nadir. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> the nadir, we never know, but it is gonna be a fun time. We, I don't know if you can tell, Ted Danson down there making his way in. Uh, we saw Chloe and Holly Bailey. Guys, it's truly a who's who of who's who as the night rolls on. And now we're just waiting on those um, Oscar winners to bring that gold statue into this party. We're going to grab them. We're going to bring those interviews to you a little bit later. But for now, we're having a good time. And I think it's going to be a lot more fun as the night goes on. Back to you. Lots of famous faces, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy, by the way, who could be dancing the night away. Stay tuned. <laughs> we'll see.